Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are adding another video to the Distress Oxide and Ink colour combination range. Now I'm looking at Kitsch Flamingo today which is we're finally into colours. It seems like the last uh, four or five videos have all been quite dark um, neutral colours so we've done lots of browns and greys lately so yay we've got a nice bright colour to look at again today and some lovely bright colour combinations with it as well. So Kitsch Flamingo is a pink, it's not the brightest of the pinks which you'll see in a moment when I go through the colour chart. Uh, and side note for that, the colour chart here, the colour swatch chart that you can print off and fill in at home so that you know which colours you already have is av available for you to download for free from my blog or my website that is linked down in the description so that's just lucollinscrafts.com like I say free uh, download for you print off the pages I've laminated mine after I've inked everything um, and I will be updating this as and when any new colours or further new colours come along but at the moment it has all the colours in it. If you've stumbled across an old version of this there are a few colours missing from some that are floating around on the website but if you go to my blog that's where the most recent version is. Also uh, things like the blending brushes, the oxide, the blending mat that I'm using, everything is available linked down below as well for you to go and have a look at at Craft Stash. So let's first of all take a look at this uh, no, no, do you know what? Let's swatch it first and then we'll have a look at it uh, compared. Now I have done a little bit of editing to my blending mat. If you've seen these videos before, I usually use a clear blending mat, but I was forever losing it. So I have taken my alcohol inks to it. So now I can see where it is. If it's in amongst papers or on my desk, I know where it is. And that's my blending mat and it's not just a piece of acetate. But the blending mats are clear and they do come from Craft Stash. Again, link down below. So, Kitsch Flamingo, first of all, let's uh, lift off the pad. And you see the pad is, as always, slightly darker than the label colour, but not a huge amount, not massively. And in fact, uh, I will just remind you that if you're looking at labels and wondering whether or not to go for a colour, because usually that's what we have to go by, isn't it? The label's either in a shop or online. If you look at the bottom left-hand corner or the top right-hand corner, that's where the solid colour is, and that's where the colour is most true to what's going to be inside here in the ink. So let's lay this down onto some paper. Look at this. It's actually white stamping cardstock that I use. Um, and again, link down below, it's from the brand Creative Craft Products. That is a beautiful, beautiful pink. It just goes on so smoothly. It is what I would consider probably a, a reasonably bright baby pink or even a Barbie pink, if you know what I mean by Barbie pink. Um, like I say, not the brightest of pinks in the range because we also have picked raspberry. So I'm going to show you a comparison with other pinks in the range. So that would be, we'll bring out the reds as well, but mostly this sheet here. So this is, like I say, my colour chart, which I have pretty much filled in. So this is Kitsch Flamingo here. Um, obviously, once it's dried, it lightens ever so slightly further. Um, picked raspberry, as you can see, is slightly a few shades brighter or darker um, but, but reasonably similar I think if you are on a budget and you're deciding to go for a pink uh, and you want to go for more of a bright pink one of these two will work and each will work in its place when you're looking at color combinations obviously worn lipstick spun sugar very very light abandoned coral has more of a peachy tone possibly through the camera there for you it looks similar but this definitely has more of a coral and orangey tone to it rather than the pink. And then when we go into saltwater taffy, sorry, I apologise, this is worn lipstick. Sorry, I was looking at the name underneath. This is worn lipstick. Abandoned coral is much, much or more orange. And then saltwater taffy, again, not too far off worn lipstick actually, but again, got that orange tone to it. So just popping to the reds and as you can see, I don't think there's anything there that is comparable. So uh, yeah, so really picked raspberry is going to be your closest match there. If you have picked raspberry already, but you don't have uh, Kitsch Flamingo and you're not in the market for a new, um, a new ink color at the moment, then quite possibly the color combinations that I'm using here will work with your um, picked raspberry instead. So talking of colour combinations, let's go into my first one. Now what I usually try to do is do the first one, which is three ink colours, 
as a sort of tonal so all the same color but different shades of almost uh, but I'm not going to for this one because that's what I'm going to do for my four color combination instead so I'm going to bring in this is one of my favorites uh, Seedless Preserves and Uncharted Mariner. Now I have about five or six favourite colours within the Distress range and uh, certainly these are two of them. So bringing pink into purple is really easy because as we know pink and purple sit quite closely together and purple is made up of blue and red essentially so it easily then feeds into blue. If you've not seen it yet and you've stumbled across this video but you're thinking about starting on your journey with Distress Inks or Distress Oxides, uh, I have just put a new video out recently and I'll link that up here now. And this one goes through what I consider to be the best five colours to get started with or variations of those colours as such. So um, certainly if you are a complete beginner and you've not actually bought any Distress Inks or Oxides yet, there's so many things you can do with them, but definitely have a look at that video first before you purchase any. So I'm just working these two colours into each other. I find the Kitsch Flamingo is uh, much paler, so it takes a little more working in. But I think we're about there. It always looks better once it's dried, uh, certainly with the bright lights here. So see that sort of um, the mix there of the two colours once that's dry it will look a lot more creamy and blended in a lot more at the moment we've got that sheen over the top which doesn't help but uh, seedless preserves into kitsch flamingo I just think is really really lovely and then that easily leads into the uncharted mariner because of course we have blue into purple Um, but there we go, there's our first colour combination, blue into a purple or pinky purple and into a pink, which is just really lovely. I think that's beautiful. Um, I would love to use this more of this blue as a vignette a frame around these colours with the lighter pink in the middle, going out to the darker pink and then going out on the very edges to the blue. I think that would look beautiful. So there's our first colour combination, Kitsch Flamingo, Uncharted Mariner and Seedless Preserves. So I'll put those to the side. I'm going to keep my Kitsch Flamingo here actually and put my brushes to the side, give my mat a wipe. Um, and like I say, for any of you wondering, I used alcohol inks on my mat and I'm going to try and use the other side. So I inked this side, which should be water resistant now, but just so that I don't uh, eventually wear it down, I'm going to try and use this side instead. So just alcohol inks and let it dry. Okay, for my next color combination, I'm going to use again Kitsch Flamingo, but I'm going to bring in lots of colors that are similar. So we've got Festive Berries, Aged Mahogany and Victorian Velvet, kind of going through from almost a gray, uh, sort of a lilac gray, through to a really, really deep dark red, throwing that lovely pink in the middle. So we're going to start with Victorian Velvet. Also available on my website are these labels too. So you notice I've got labels on each of the pads. They're getting a bit dirty now, but I do have labels on each of my pads and I also have labels on my brushes. And these are available for you to download on my website also. So you can go and find those in the same place as you'll find the download for the color chart. I do get a lot of questions about that later on asking uh, how did I print all of those off or make all of those labels? Well, there we go. I just print it off. It was really quick and easy. It's a PDF that you can download. So Victorian Velvet into Kitsch Flamingo works really beautifully. I always come back to the first colour and help with the blending there. Once I've laid a colour down, I know it's never finished until I've moved on away from that colour blend. I mean, look how well they've blended together. Obviously this looks a little bit uh, more damp because that's the last bit I did. Let's just actually add a bit more of this. Try and bring the slightly lighter pink down a bit further. And there we go. I think once that's dry, that will be really a really lovely blend there between the two. Sorry, there's somebody um, trimming hedges just outside my door. So apologies for the noise, but we've come this far. I did wait. <laughs> I waited and waited most of the afternoon to be able to film this and they went quiet. So I thought they were all done. 
And um, no, apparently not, <laughs> apparently not. Maybe they were just stopping for a tea break. Then we're going to go into a really, really bright pink. So this is Festive Berries. It's actually a red, but um, to me, I think it's a really dark pink. So this is going to work beautifully into Kitsch Flamingo as well. I do think of Valentine's when I see these two together mixed like that. They are lovely. So again, little tiny circles for blending. Anything larger and you're just going to drag lots of the colour through into the next colour. And then lastly, aged mahogany. And so apologies for the background noise. Hopefully it's not too much for you. So aged mahogany against these almost looks brown, but it is a beautiful deep mahogany colour, uh, hence the name. And you will find already lots of these um, videos for individual colours already up on the playlist on YouTube. So we've got a full playlist dedicated to all of these colour combination videos. Um, so far we have done aged mahogany and festive berries from this selection. So you can go and find those there. Um, so there we go. Now I think actually there isn't too much difference between Kitsch Flamingo and Victorian Velvet. It's got a softer more of a neutral tone to it but it's not massively different so, but you can see there like I say something like Valentine's that would be absolutely beautiful wouldn't it so there's uh, two different color combinations for you let's just wipe the mat clean ready for next time and let's bring those in so you can see those two again here we go look how beautiful that pink purple blue has just it just softens as it dries and it just looks so much nicer. Now, um, in case you are catching me for the first time, um, I will just show you. So sometimes I add water to some of my ink blends and this can be done in two ways. So it always looks better when you do this with a darker ink onto white paper rather than the lighter ones. But I may just do a light mist of water over the top and that will give a slight speckled and distressed look because distress oxides, the idea is, is that when they are exposed to oxygen, they will oxidize or exposed to water, they will oxidize. So that's where you get this sort of white and creamy look to them. So hopefully you can just see the slight texture starting to happen on the surface. And it is a process that takes uh, a few minutes to finish but let me show you the alternative is to put water into your hand I've just sprayed that in there and actually flick much larger blobs onto the paper now you'll be able to see here how it looks so much um, darker on the darker colors or so much more of a difference so I'm just going to take a piece of kitchen towel and just lift the water up here and that will also lift up some of the color so you can see the effect so that's something i've actually got a few blobs over on the other side there because i wasn't being careful that's something you can do with your color blends and i like to do this more so when i'm not overly happy with my blending for whatever reason it just may be that one of my ink pads is starting to get low and needs re-inking and the color hasn't transferred as well as i'd like there's lots of different reasons for your blending not happening as well as you'd hoped but I think this is always a fantastic save savior it just can pop this over the surface whether it's a light mist or lots of splodges and it kind of hides any imperfections in your blending I mean how beautiful does that look now for like a galaxy effect I think it's lovely so there we go there is your kitsch flamingo uh, taking a nice good look at that and some color combinations uh, of course we'll be uploading more videos alphabetically so i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you again very very soon take care everybody